I wanted to do another video when I had time to process everything that happened today. Um, unfortunately, some more details have come out about the passengers on the uh, helicopter uh, before uh, the accident happened that <clears throat> claimed the lives of everyone on board. Along with Kobe Bryant, his oldest daughter, I believe it's pronounced Gianna, was on the helicopter along with a teammate of hers and a parent of that teammate. So four passengers along with the pilot perished in the crash um, today. I want to say something to um, shout out to Ticket TV because he mentioned this uh, in a video he did earlier. CNN should be ashamed of themselves for bringing up that long since discredited uh, situation and allegation uh, toward Kobe years ago. That's long since been discredited. And Kobe Bryant has been nothing more than uh, an exemplary human being since then. All right. Um, I think it was terrible for them to bring that up today. This man has done nothing but been an exemplary human being. And to bring that up was terrible. And that MSNBC reporter should be fired for what she said out of her mouth today. The fact that word even came out of your mouth. Okay? The fact that word even came out of your mouth. You should be fired. I don't care who it was with MSNBC. I don't care how long you've been with the organization. You should be fired. Now that I've said that, I've been trying to think of a situation that compares to this. Uh, 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 any type of event that compares to this. You know, um, I know Thurman Munson uh, perished in a plane crash, a private plane crash, during the season uh, in 19, I think it was 79. While he was a, a player, he was the captain of the Yankees, he was a catcher. And these was the Yankees during their, uh, one of their heyday periods in the late 70s. And um, that was devastating for Major League Baseball. And of course, a couple of years before that, Roberto Clemente, uh, one of the great players for the Pittsburgh Pirates, uh, perished in a plane crash on a humanitarian mission. And I think it was around New Year's 1973. He perished in a plane crash. He was only 38 years old. Um, I think the last game of the regular season before the season ended that year, Roberto Clemente reached exactly 3,000 career hits. Um, Rocky Marciano, of course, one of the all-time legends in boxing, uh, passed away a day before his 46th birthday um, in 1969 while on his way to a business meeting, I think it was, uh, I think it was uh, over the cornfields in Iowa where he perished. I think it was. Um, just individuals that unfortunately perished uh, while they were still in the prime of their lives. Unnatural uh, passings. Payne Stewart, um, a star in golf in the 1990s, uh, perished in a plane crash. I think it was, was it, was it? Over the Dakotas? I can't remember, but it was in 1999 when he was 42 years old. And of course, uh, Roy Halladay, uh, one of the best pitchers in baseball during his uh, time, uh, passed away in a plane crash several years ago. 
So, you know, th th this has happened before, but the closest thing I can think of to feeling like this in, in, in the NBA with a player, uh, we, we lose legends. Okay, we do. We lose legends. Um, but oftentimes they're older. You know, you, you never want to lose someone, but uh, eventually we all pass. But the shock and surrealness, the only two situations that pop in my mind are, are, are with Wilt Chamberlain. Because you just thought Wilt was going to live forever when he passed away. And Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson, when he announced he had HIV, November of 1991. Now, Magic Johnson, of course, didn't pass that day. But what people all thought to themselves, because at that time, HIV was just a precursor to AIDS, which was a automatic death sentence. So th that's the closest I can think of. Of course, Magic Johnson, um, through the advancements in medicines to treat HIV, is still with us. And um, hopefully he'll be with us for several e more years. But this is, I, this is, I, I can't really compare this to anything else. Kobe Bryant was a global sports figure, global icon. All right, that's how popular Kobe Bryant was. All right, I know that the mainstream media over the past couple of years have been trying to diminish his legacy to an extent. I don't want to get into that in this video too, too deep, but Kobe Bryant was the face of the NBA for several years, okay? I don't want to overstate this, man, but it's almost when you look at the fact that we're such a sports obsessed society now, it's almost like our version of the JFK thing, man. I, like I said, I don't want to be too macabre or go too overstated with it, but it's, it's like something like that, where that generation, JFK, the most popular president in American history at the time, and still is, uh, so influential, so inspirational, uh, such a charismatic leader, who, you know, the youngest president ever elected, and he did nothing but, you know, uh, exuded youth and vitality, strength, and to be taken out, if you don't believe the conspiracy theories, by this nobody, this peon, this whack job, it didn't seem fair. It was surreal. And in this situation, I have Kobe Bryant, the, probably the, the second greatest shooting guard of all time. And then today, I don't care what you, how do you feel. If you think he's the greatest, A, hey, maybe he is. One of the greatest players in the history of basketball. For years, the most popular player in, in NBA history. To lose his life in this manner, it, it, it just doesn't seem fair, real. It, it, it's... I don't know. When we talk about Kobe Bryant and his accomplishments in the NBA, it's more than just five rings. All right? It's more than just five NBA championships. He was one of the most accomplished players in the history of the league. He's the first guard to play 20 years in the NBA. He played all of his career with one organization, the Lakers. Um, he amassed 33,000 career points 
over 33,000 points in his career. Of course, he had that tremendous 81-point game, but he was, a, you know, aside from the five NBA championships, he was a two-time Finals MVP, all right? Four times, four times he was the All-Star Game MVP. Twice he won Olympic gold. He was an 18-time All-Star, nine times All-Defensive First Team. I believe 15 times in his career, he was first team all NBA. A remarkable, remarkable career. Two times he won the scoring title. When you look at his 35.4 points per game season in 2005, 2006, when you adjust it to pace, it's the number one scoring season in NBA history. And yes, that, that includes the 50.4 point season that Wilt had in 61-62. When you adjust it to pace, it's the number one scoring season ever. Kobe Bryant scored that season. He scored about 40% of the Lakers points that season. It was truly uh, phenomenal what he did there. It was truly phenomenal. Um, when you look at <clears throat> the fact that he was vilified by the media when Shaq was traded, the pressure that he felt, the pressures that he had to feel to bring a winning team to L.A. is phenomenal. I mean, it, it, you know, it's, uh, it's unbelievable the amount of pressure that he had to have felt and to have delivered not one but two additional championships to the Lakers organization. All right? It's Kobe Bryant that helped to turn Pau Gasol to a Hall of Famer. Before Pau Gasol went to the Lakers, he had a reputation for being an underachiever and a reputation for being soft. After playing with Kobe Bryant, Pau Gasol is a two-time NBA champion, and he will be, if not first ballot, he will eventually be a Hall of Famer. The thing to me that just makes this the most uh, unfair, aside from the fact that now, you know, uh, Vanessa has become a widow, just like that, there, uh, she's lost a child, she's lost a husband, there have been, there are kids now, right now, in Los Angeles weeping because they've lost not only a sister, a big sister, but they've lost their father. Um... And of course, condolences to the other people who lost their lives in this tragedy. The parent and the kid and the pilot. But Kobe Bryant was supposed to go to the Hall, Hall of Fame this year. And now it's going to be a totally different feeling. A situation that should be, it should be filled with nothing but joy. This would be the most joyous moment, the most joyous year for him and his family. And now it's going to become one of the most tragic and bittersweet moments when he's inducted. But now he will be inducted posthumously. So, I, I, you know, I, I don't know what to say. Man. I'm just totally devastated by this news. And, um, he's the one player that I've watched 
over the past 30 years. Because remember, I was always rooting for Mike um, when he was with the Bulls or the Wizards. But Kobe is the only player. Klay Thompson does it too. Klay Thompson's the only other guy. But Kobe Bryant is one of only two players who would have ever watched him play. Because I'm not a Laker fan. I'm not a Laker fan. But Kobe's the only guy that strikes fear in my heart when I was watching him play. I don't care about stats. I don't care what numbers say. When it comes to putting the ball in the basket when the team needs him to do it, there was nobody better than Kobe Bean Bryant. I'm willing to bet, too, man, that had Gianna lived with her burgeoning interest in basketball, um, I'm, I wanted to bet, man, that in the next six or seven years, man, his daughter would have made it to the WNBA because you know she probably developed uh, and inherited her father's competitiveness, man. And um, it's it's so unfair, man. This guy had been a hermit, a hermit throughout his NBA career, tunnel vision, totally focused on basketball. It wasn't until after retirement that Kobe became more social, that Kobe started granting more interviews, you know, uh, opening up about certain things. Um, and to just be taken out so senselessly, it's such a senseless demise. But the one thing we can take solace in is that Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant's legacy will live on forever through the remaining daughters that he has, through those who he influenced in his personal life, and to the millions influenced by uh, his achievements on the basketball court and outside of the court. It is these, these things that will allow Kobe Bryant, in essence, to live forever.